breaking news. Welcome to today's headlines. Onamde Kano wished to make a broadcast to his supporters when we met Soludo. When we met, Onamde Kano wished to make a broadcast to his supporters when we met, says Soludo. To my dear listeners, from wherever you're listening from, please stay tuned as I read today's news. Governor Chukuma Soludo of a number of states on Saturday gave clarification on his visit to Unamdekano, the detained leader of the indigenous people of the Afra. In the custody of Nigerian Secret Police, the Department of State Services. The governor said, The person he met at the DSS was the real Unamdekano. Dismissing report that the pictures he took with him Shared on social media were a cloned picture of Kanu. Soludo had visited the IPOB leader last Friday and posted the videos where Kanu was wearing a red shirt instead of the Fendi white outfit he usually wears to court. The governor said his visitation to Kanu was in continuation of finding a lasting solution to peace in the southeast part of the country. The chief press secretary to the governor, Christian Aburime, who spoke to Punch on behalf of the governor, said Kano even wanted, if he was permitted to make a broadcast to all IPOB members and his supporters generally. He said, the people saying Soludo posted the video of a cloned Kano are telling lies to deceive the people and the truth is obvious. Do you think a governor will want to get involved in that kind of frivolities by coming to tell the people that he met Kano if he did not meet him? In essence, Soludo met with Kanu and not a cloned fellow of him. Everything is clear enough. You can see the governor and Kanu in the videos clearly. It was not something that is cloned, as people are erroneously propagating now. On the reason he was wearing a red dress instead of the traditional white clothes that he wears to court is because the judge has directed that the DSS allows him access to any clothes he wants to wear and even allow him to watch television. So on the day, Soludo visited him. He was wearing a different clothes. People should not expect him to wear one type of clothes every day. He has the right to wear any type of clothes he wants to wear, especially as the judge has directed the DSS to allow him to change clothes. The governor relates the outcome of the visit as follows. I visited Mazi Unamdekanu yesterday, Friday 13th, May 2022, to felicitate with him and also as part of the wider consultations with critical stakeholders in search of lasting peace and security in the Southeast. He was in a very high spirit and we had quality and frank discussion. 
in a very convivial atmosphere. He expressed sadness over what he described as sacrilegious killings of innocent persons, kidnappings, and all forms of criminalities, including the brutal enforcement of the senseless sit at home, perpetuated by sundry groups claiming to be acting for or on behalf of IPOL. He assured that if the opportunity arises, he will be glad to personally broadcast to his followers to maintain the peace together. We shall restore peace, security and prosperity in Anambra and South East. Governor Chukuma Soludo of Anambra State on Saturday gave clarification on his visit to Unamdekanu, the detained leader of the indigenous people of Biafra. In the custody of Nigeria's secret police, the Department of State Services. The governor said the person he met at the DSS was the real Unamde Kanu. Dismissing the report that the pictures he took with him, Kanu shared on social media where he cloned picture of Kanu. Soludo had visited the IPOP leader last Friday and posted the videos where Kanu was wearing a red shirt instead of the Fendi white outfit he usually wears to cut. The governor said his visitation to Kanu was in continuation of finding a lasting solution to peace in the southeast part of the country. The chief press secretary to the governor, Christian Aburime, who spoke to Punch, on behalf of the governor said Kano, even wanted if he was permitted to make a broadcast to all IPOP members and his supporters generally. To my dear listeners, from wherever you're listening from, now we've come to the end of our today's news and please do drop by at the comment section and let us know what your view is all about. Thank you for listening.